Hello, my fellow parasites. Parasites? Apologize! No. Anyway, welcome to Season 4 of the Venom Vlog. This season we'll be covering Venom 2 movie news, more classic Venom and Carnage stories, the Spider-Man Maximum Venom animated series, and all comics involving Eugene Flash Thompson. So sit back and enjoy another exciting episode of The Venom Vlog. I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching The Venom Vlog. Oh man. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Venom Vlog. And we actually got a little tiny piece of Venom Let There Be Carnage movie news from Woody Harrelson himself. Uh, he sat down and uh, did an interview with Empire Magazine, which it was released in the November issue of Empire Magazine. And luckily Sci-Fi Wire covered this. So I'll have a link to the Sci-Fi Wire down below. And if you wanna go look you know, online or try to find a copy of the Empire Magazine interview, uh, you can find it. It's the November 2020 issue. And, uh, and they sat down, they talked with Woody Harrelson about his career and about, you know, different things. And of course, you know, Carnage was mentioned. And one of the questions they asked him was about the wig. And he said, you know, um, there was a lot of, you know, different iterations of the wig. There was a lot of different versions of the wig that we were talking about and going through and stuff. And he goes, um, but, uh, but I think, you know, what came out in the final product, hopefully, uh, in this next movie, is something people will like when it regarding like his hairstyle and stuff. And I know we've seen a glimpse of it in, in some of the images, but we don't know if that's his, you know, always going to be his look in the movie. Maybe he starts the movie off with the big curly wig like he ended the last movie with. Um, maybe he'll start off with that and, and, you know, trim his own hair or cut his hair or the symbiote will, you know, you know, tear some of his hair out or something like who knows. Uh, but maybe we'll, you know, he'll have a different look uh, for a part of the movie and then go into the version we, you know, we've seen on like leaked photos and stuff like that and the official image that uh, Tom Hardy put out. So, um, so yeah, so, the, you know, they were talking a little bit about the wig and, and what the look of, you know, Carnage or Cletus is going to look like. Um, but then when he was pressed a little bit more for information about Let There Be Carnage, he, he was like, you know what, I can't really say anything. He's like, you know, I got to be good here. I can't get into specifics. He goes, but I will say that it was fun to do this movie. And he pretty much just did it because Ruben Fleischer asked him to. Like, uh, I guess Ruben, you know, him and Ruben Fleischer have been friends for years, ever since the first Zombieland movie. And who knows, maybe even before. I don't know their actual relationship. But um, but I that's where I'm thinking, like, that's the dot I'm connecting, is that they met on Zombieland and they've been friends for years and so he said yeah when Ruben asked me to do the movie I didn't even read the script he's like I just came and did the movie and he goes I just was hoping for the best he goes I heard this character was a big deal especially to the you know to the world of you know Venom and he goes so I just took it on faith that uh that Ruben was you know knew what he was doing and knew what he was talking about and he brought me in and he goes and I'm, I'm bummed you know on, on some level that he's not directing the second movie where I actually get to be Carnage uh, he goes but uh, you know my good friend Andy Serkis is directing it and he goes and that's good too because he made the transition feel easy you know, you know made me feel comfortable because I already knew him and worked with him before so I felt comfortable around him and he goes and that made for a good environment on the on the set and I trusted his vision of what this character was going to be as well so that was kind of neat to hear him talk you know a little bit about the wig because i know a lot of people had various comments about it when the first movie came out in that post credit scene and then now like the new look and how they're gonna streamline it or do different things with it in the new movie um and that he's just like yeah i haven't seen i think he even says in the interview he's like i haven't seen the movie yet but uh but i i know what i worked on and the stuff we did i felt was really great and really strong stuff and i hope that translates to a final product that is also very you know very awesome and great at the same time so uh so yeah a couple quotes here from woody uh just little snippets about the wig and then also about you know who he's working with you know he did not go into specifics on anything really about the movie other than he was just happy to play this role and that he took the role without even reading a script which i'm like hey that's crazy and he even said he goes i almost never do that he's like maybe once or twice ever in my career and he goes so i usually like a script i like to know about the character i like to do meetings and stuff like that he goes but this was literally ruben just asking me if i would do it and i said yes and he goes and then it became this whole thing where I had to be in the sequel and everything. And he goes, and I'm glad that the transition was easy because I'm glad it was a director I also knew, um, you know, in Andy Circus, and that made me feel comfortable in the transition. And, and that's a big deal. I know people sometimes don't think about that. I mean, we see that right now with like, you know, Ray Fisher talking about his experience with Justice League and stuff. Like, it can be a big deal when someone has a good rapport with somebody and they have to then work with somebody else for the next one because Hollywood, they will. They'll pump out sequels and they won't care about schedulings. Like I always talk about Entourage, the show where they had James Cameron direct Aquaman 1 
And then when they were going to make Aquaman 2, they had they were like, oh, Michael Bay is going to direct it and Kevin Smith's going to write it. And they're like, what? No, like you guys are just, you know, just throwing this movie out there. You're just trying to get it out there as a cash grab. Like we need to work on this and like make it as good as the first one, if not better. And uh, so there was like people who want integrity. And then there was a studio who's like just wants it to get out. And I think Woody, man, maybe was a little nervous about that. But when he saw that Andy was coming on and, and you know, has a vision himself of what was going on and building off of what Ruben set up, sounded like it was an easier transition for him. And uh, and that, like I said, that can matter, especially when your friend is the reason you got the role. And then you're like, oh, now someone else is directing? Like, oh, I, oh okay, it's Andy Serkis? Oh, okay, all right, cool. I mean, talk about best case scenario there. <laughs> like, if you can't get Ruben, it's like, oh, good, we got Andy. And it's like, that to me is like, oh, that's a nice, uh, that's a nice, um, you know, transition there because you could, got lucky for sure because uh, you could have got just some random direct that could have been like, Brett Ratner, you direct it, you know, whatever. But I don't think Tom Hardy would have put up with that. You know, he would have been like, no, 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 we need to get someone who's just right. And I think they did with Andy Serkis. Like I said, if you can't get Ruben, Andy's a good choice. And I know Woody just worked with Ruben recently on Zombieland Double Tap. So, um, so I'm sure he was like, yeah, you know, the scheduling and all that stuff probably just didn't work out. But I'm glad Woody is still on board. I'm glad he's playing the character. And it was cool to get these little snippets of information. So let me know what you guys think. Finally, a little tiny bit of movie news, not a ton, but just a little bit. So I'd love to hear what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Since it's Carnage related, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.